the most famous outlaws in the Old West. In this video, we will learn more about why the Wild West has been the cradle for many famous outlaws. It was a civilized society, but many could not still afford a decent meal on their tables. By the end of this video, we will discover who among the outlaws probably has the most crimes in the entire time. What does it take for an outlaw to become famous? So stay tuned. Jesse James Jesse James is the leader of the James Younger Gang. Their gang usually robs trains and banks. Jesse James's role as a gang leader is the most important thing that gave the gang strings of successful robberies. Some historians think his purpose for robbing is to help the poor, but no, evidence proves the speculation. In 1881, the governor issued $10,000 reward money. A year later, Jesse James got killed by his gang member, Robert Ford. He had an agreement with the governor, James Jim Brown Miller. He was one of the most violent men of the Wild West. His killings began when he was eight years old, when he murdered his grandparents. Many think he was a psychopathic hitman who killed somewhere between 20 to 50 people. Miller became Texas Ranger soon after he became an outlaw and a professional killer who was said to have killed 12 people during gunfights. He died in 1909 when a mob of angry people lynched him together with other three men in Ada, Oklahoma. Bell Starr Having a very comfortable life and a lot of wealth, Belle Starr left her life to become an outlaw. She was well known to be the Bandit Queen. Together with outlaws, Jesse James and the Younger Gang used Belle's family home as a hideout. She married three men in her lifetime, first to Jim Reed, then to Bruce Young, and lastly to Sam Starr. She died when someone shot her in the back when she was about to get back to her ranch. Among the suspects are his former husband and her own son. Butch Cassidy Butch Cassidy was working in a gold rush town. Along with three other men in Telluride, Colorado, his earliest crime dates to 1889 when he and the other men robbed a bank and made off with $20,000. After this, Butch Cassidy continued traveling across the Old West to hold up banks and trains in South Dakota, Wyoming, New Mexico, and Nevada. They were successful with their heist. One of their most famous heists gave them $70,000 for the holdup of a train in Rio Grande, New Mexico. The Wild Bunch has a lot of an ally of law officers hunting them for their notorious crimes. Cassidy continued robbing trains and payrolls until his death in a shootout in 1908. Billy the Kid Born Henry McCarty in 1859, likely in New York City, his father died at the end of the Civil War, and his mother died of tuberculosis. Poor Billy was forced to move to the Old West to make a living. Billy's first crime was in 1877, when he shot a civilian blacksmith who was bullying him. Billy was placed in custody at the camp's guardhouse, but Billy escaped just before the marshal could arrive. Billy the Kid met up with another bandit named Jesse Evans, the leader of the gang called The Boys. Billy has no place to go, and it is very risky to be alone in the lawless territories of the Old West. Billy had no choice but to join the gang. Billy got involved in many activities until he got himself involved in the infamous Lincoln County War. Reward money of $500 in exchange for his head. Billy's name became widely known. He was killed by New Mexico Sheriff Pat Garrett in 1881. John Wesley Hardin John showed outlaw nature at an early age. He was only a school kid. He stabbed one of his classmates. 
John Harden was only 15 when he killed a black man because of an argument. Soon, he supported the Confederacy and took the lives of many Union soldiers. Killing seems to be so easy for him. Harden moved to Navarro County and became a school teacher. Soon, he had another job as a cowboy and a poker player. It led him to kill another gambler. It was followed by a dozen more killings later. Though he surrendered in 1872, John broke out of jail and soon joined an anti-reconstruction movement. John kept killing until he was caught by the Texas Rangers and sentenced to 25 years for killing a deputy sheriff. Would you believe that after he got out of jail, he was admitted to the bar? He had an affair with the wife of one of his clients. To get the husband out of the way, he hired an assassin to kill his client. John Hardin was killed by Constable John Selman, one of the hired guns in the Acme Saloon. Allegedly, Hardin did not pay him for a hit job. You have just discovered different stories that made each of these outlaws famous. Click on the link to watch the amazing tale of the Horrell Brothers.